This video is a continuation of the head core video. The first video, we went through all the exercises in ProtoWizard to create the programs necessary to generate the head. In this video, we're going to go through the steps to actually machine the head from the piece of wax. First, start out by cutting a piece of your wax off two inches long. Next, insert that wax into the bar clamp fixture. Jog your end mill so that the x-axis is directly over the end of the wax as shown. Then go into Machine Wizard and zero the x-axis out by pressing the set button next to the fixture offset you're using. Then go to the Jog tab and using the Go To section, move the x-axis to negative 27 millimeters. So we're going to move the x-axis 27 millimeters over to the left. This is so that we can cut out the core program right here and this is going to be our zero point. This is why inside of ProtoWizard we set up the top of our head to always be shifted 25 millimeters over and up. So go back into Machine Wizard, into the Setup tab, and set the zero of your x-axis right where it's at. To ensure that we're safely going to be able to mill the head and mill the core program where, it's, where we're currently positioned at, you can check to make sure that you have a minimum of 7 millimeters before you touch the fixture. As long as you have 7 or more millimeters before you touch the fixture, you will not have to worry about hitting anything. Next, insert your 1 8 inch end mill, run your tool detection, and run the 8 millimeter core head program. This program will cut out the core head in the center of our bar where we had zeroed out X. It will also flip over on the back side and cut out a space so that you can bring up your screw when you mount it vertically on the end of the arbor. Next, you're going to load your tool and run your rotary program or multi-sided program to cut out the head itself in the horizontal position. After this is done, remove the bar clamp fixture and the part from the fixture itself. Install the ring combo fixture in your machine, put your pin in your spindle, and calibrate the ring combo fixture. This ensures that the fixture itself is pointing straight up and that the triangle is going to orient our new head so that it is perfectly straight up when we go to cut the top down. It also ensures that the end of the pin is exactly four millimeters off the face of the part. This way we know that both X and A are positioned correctly when we mount the part onto the end of the arbor and secure it with the screw. Load your new tool that you want to run, run the tool detection, and then jog it back to the XY origin to make sure that you're sitting in the right position, which now should be using fixture offset number two, or also called the arbor offset. You can jog your tool down a little bit and actually check to see am I in the center of my part. Once this is completed, the only thing you have left to do is to run your top-down program. Running your top-down program will hollow out the center part of your head, and you're now finished. Thank you for listening to the video, and good luck.